Time now for a CNN 10 student spotlight. One of the smartest, wittiest, inspiring, and most passionate people I've ever met. He's just 10 years old. I caught up with Sean the Science Kid. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Amplified, Amplified sound waves coming, coming from, from me. me. Here with a special guest, a CNN 10 student spotlight, the one and only Sean Addict Scoby, AKA the Science Kid. You probably have seen him on the socials, more than 1.4 million followers on Instagram alone. Sean, I have to ask you, how did you first become so interested in science and so much so that you want to share it with other people? So ever since I was a kid, I've just been interested in learning. It's so beautiful because it explains everything in the universe from the light here to you talking right now. <laughs> I love so, that. Sharing it with the world is important because we need everyone to know about this magical field of education that explains everything. It's where it all starts. So let me ask you this. Are there any maybe common science myths that really bug you and you just want people to know? You only use 10% of your brain. Wow. That is wrong. That is wrong. You use 100% of your brain all of the time because memory is active. It's always working, which means it still has to be used. So I have a, a question for you. A really, a bad dad joke, if you will. Oh, I love dad, bad dad jokes. Why can't you trust anything an Adam says? Because they make up everything. <laughs> he knows it. All right, listen, I know you have an experiment. You've been just chomping at the bit to show us this. We're gonna take center stage here all right, what do we have here and what are you gonna do with it? We have an electromagnet here. Now, if you've ever heard of Faraday's law of induction, you know that magnetism and electricity are interconnected, which means both of them create the other. So when you take a coil of wire, ba -da -da. Did you say coil wire? A coil of oh, wire. Coil, got it. If you take this and attach it to an electrical current, then what will end up happening is a magnetic field should be created. I'll try and get a current running through and see if Ooh, it has I see any it. magnetic effects. So when we connect them. So you're running the battery through the wire into the nail and voila. It's not magic, it's science. Before we go here, one thing we always do at the end of the show is we give shout outs to our school. And now that you're in a new high school for the first time, a freshman, can we give a shout out to your school, the shout name, out. city, state, and mascot? Shout out to Hills Academy in DeKalb. Hey, Good night. high five. Thanks for keeping me warm and informed.